Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 5. 5555. Five, now, in the last episode, last episode was. Last episode was a depressing one. It was a good episode up until the end. It was a good episode, but then to the end, it got really depressing. Because we lost Severston and Grey Worm. We lost both of them. Let's take a moment of silence for both of them. Okay. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, in the last episode of Game of Thrones. Okay, so last episode was kind of a weird one. Uh, Cersei's trying to make a plot of her own. She's trying to play a little chess game, if you if you will, but she's not playing chess. She's playing checkers. Like Tywin said, you're not as smart as you think you are. She got fucking Lancel and their little their little organization. They're dude, okay. They're literally fucking terrorists, bro. Like they're literally terrorists. Like they're causing terror in the city. They're fucking up the city. She got them to basically abduct Laura as, as revenge against Marge, which, okay, that's not like, that's not a chess move, bro. Like, they know it's you. They, like, Marge knows what you're doing, bro. There's like, there's no three steps ahead in this plan. It's just, it's a one plan attack. There's nothing to follow up with. That's what it seems like. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But at least with Tywin, when he would make a move, it would cause multiple, multiple different things to happen, you know? And that's what made him so effective, is every move he made had a chain reaction, and it just caused multiple things to be put in his favor. With this, it just seems like a one-sided move. Like, just, that's the only thing that happens. That's why she's playing checkers. Dude, honestly, they're fucking terrorists. They're literally terrorists, dude. They're causing terror in this city. If I am Tommen, I am having them all killed. Not because they have Loras, because they're literally fucking terrorists. That is why. They're fucking up my city. They're causing terror. They're going around just fucking terrorizing our citizens. Like, fuck off. I'm having you all killed immediately because of that. Now, Tommen doesn't want violence. That's why he couldn't get Loras back. But he, like, that's, like, the only good thing about Joffrey, bro. Joffrey would have them all killed immediately. And that's when it's like, fuck, dude. <sighs> okay, not gonna lie, dude. I kind of miss Joffrey. Like, I fucking hated him. But it was, like, it was fun to hate on him, you know? I, I wish we had him. I wish we had him back. Just because it was, like, it was fun. At least. But, like, I'm happy he's dead. But at the same time, it's like, fuck, dude. I kind of, I want him back just a little bit. All right, all right, I'm just gonna start this episode. All right, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you wanna watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon. As well, early access to the next two episodes will also be on Patreon. So let's get started. Oh, okay, we got Grey Worm right here. Yeah, he's, yeah. No way they survived. I mean, shit, maybe, maybe. And yeah, she's obviously super sad about it because they liked each other. See, dude, I fucking called it. I actually called it. Back when they had their little talk. Now that they're romantically involved. It's not gonna end well. That always happens. I wonder how- Yeah, Khaleesi is probably pissed that Severson died. I'm so sorry, my queen. He was a good man. Barristan the Bold, they called him. <laughs> he crossed a continent to serve me. He was a loyal friend. Fuck yeah, he was, bro. And he died in an alley. Yeah, not the- By cowards who hide behind masks. He should've, like, he- For him being who he is, he should've had a more, like, noble death. You know, but... Eh. Serving for Khaleesi's is- Is pretty noble and high honor, so. Round up the leaders of each of Marine's great families and bring them to me. I'm the leader of my family. <sighs> oh, that's- I had nothing to do with this! Fuck. <laughs> I feel like he's innocent. I feel like that guy specifically had nothing to do with it, but she's just trying to draw them out. And figure out who it is, so... <gasps> the dragons... Sepa Jevi Reni, in Odranio Dat. Idanie Zakon, Kostos Tau. Never. Oh. 
Oh my god. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Jevi can untis laudisis. God. I love to see it. No family to guide her or protect her. But well, she's got this. Alone in the world. It's a terrible thing. Mm hmm. Sam, I'd like to speak to the master alone. I need your advice. Mm -hmm. Something I want to do, something I have to do. Hmm. But it'll divide the night's watch. Oh, yeah. He has to leave. Half the men hate you already, Lord Commander. Do it. Wow. Doesn't matter. You do. Bro, John, you just gotta send it. Fuck this. You'll find the strength to do what needs to be done. Yeah, I love Master Eamon, bro. Winter is almost upon us. Kill the boy. Mm-hmm. And let the man be born. Uh, kill the boy that's inside him. And let the man come out. Alright, go pipe Melisandre next. They followed Mans. They won't follow anyone else. And for 8,000 years, we've fallen short of that oath. Ooh. Because now, I am Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Fuck yeah. And if you go north of the wall, mm -hmm. gather... I'll open the gates for them and let them through. I'll find them lands. Mm -hmm. I want them to fight with me when the time comes. A day. <sighs> People cut my guts from my belly and make me eat them. <laughs> the women, the children, the old, the sick. You're condemning them to death. Yeah. Proud to make peace. Exactly. Well, maybe you're not proud. You're scared. Maybe you're just a coward. Yeah. Easy thing to say to a man in chains. Unchain them. Ah! <laughs> I love John. We don't have much time, and they have less. The walkers are coming, and they'll hit your people first. Mm-hmm. To save your people. Exactly. That's what I said in episode one of season five. Most of them are at hard home. You know what that is? Up on Sturl's point. Got him. I talked to King Stannis about lending you his fleet. Ooh. You're coming with me. <laughs> they need to know the ships they are boarding won't be torched in the middle of the sea. That is very true. You have to go, John. You, have, you gotta go. Less enemies for us. <laughs> That's very selfish. What? Hmm, Stannis, stop. Stannis, get out of your feelings. What do you mean? I will follow you anywhere. You know that. I love that guy. I love Ed. They killed I think his Grin. name's Ed. Yeah. Oh, Grin, yeah. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. They killed 50 of our brothers. I can't forget that. <sighs> it's facts. We can learn to live with the wildlings, or we can add them to the army of the dead. Yeah. I mean, bro, you really want to see those giants become fucking white walkers? Fuck that. <laughs> or whites, or... You, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm pretty sure John's just doing this so they can join Stannis' army, right? And then so he can become a Stark, like Stannis said. You're just doing it to trick them. It's not a trick. They burnt my village. <laughs> they butchered my mother. Everyone I ever knew. I mean, that's tough, bro, but I kind of need to do this. <laughs> I know what it's like to lose the people you love. Mm -hmm. We can't face it alone. Maybe Lady Sansa's better off here. Probably. Sansa's in danger even if she doesn't realize it. Bro, no way they're gonna kill Sansa. They need her. And it's not like Bolton has a pack with Tywin anymore, because Tywin's gone. So it's pack with the... He didn't have a pack with the Lannisters. He had a pack with Tywin. So... Mm -hmm. There's no reason for him to kill Sansa. Mm -hmm. The Sarks are gone now. No. I'm not talking about the Boltons. I need to get a message to her. Ooh. That doesn't release me from an oath. Yep. I serve her still. Ah. I'm going to marry her. That will involve looking at her from time to time. Do you think she's pretty? Of course I do. I'm not blind. <laughs> it's eye roll. 
Perhaps I'll marry too. <laughs> Fuck, no you won't. Who are you going to marry? Stay and keep us safe. <laughs> oh. Such a fucking manipulator. Oh, oh, she's biting his lip. Ah, oh, she bit the hell hard. Light a candle in the highest window of the broken tower. Oh shit. Oh shit. But him, you're not alone. Oh shit. Yeah, because she said the North remembers in the last episode. Okay. But yeah, but how does Sansa know she can trust this? Like, like, dude, Sansa has probably has such bad trust issues, bro. I'm Miranda, <laughs> the kennel master's daughter. Oh my god, this fucking bitch. What, is she gonna Who taught you? Is she, my is she gonna try and kill Sansa because she's jealous? Um, you gonna remember her? I'd rather have a mother. <laughs> <laughs> There's something. Don't stab her, please. No. To help you remember. No. Don't try and go. Okay. Okay. Down there, at the end. Bro, bro, I'm not going in there. You would spoil the surprise. Fuck you and your surprise. I'm not. No, I'm not. Dude, no, it's not. Don't you see it? I don't trust you, dog. I hear the dogs. I'm not going in there. God damn it. Is it Theon or something? It is. Theon. Oh. You don't be here. Do you have something to tell me? Mm. Reek. She saw me. Oh. You mustn't keep secrets from me, Reek. He didn't. He literally to told you, but dog. It literally just happened. It's not like he's been hiding this for a while. Give me your hand. Dog, don't cut his fucking hand off. Dude, he's so scared. Okay. I forgive you. Okay, whatever, bro. It's nothing to forgive, but okay. Oh, that's the girl Bolton was talking about at the Red Wedding when he was talking to Catelyn before he fucking did what he did. That was his wife he was talking about. Your name? Reek. Why are you doing this? Yeah, bro. Because Reek has something to say to you. Apologize for murdering her two brothers. <sighs> bro, I feel like Bolton's just embarrassed. Over and done with. Yeah, bro, that was a sigh of relief. That you have left. You will give away the bride. Someone has. That's so sadistic. We're going to have a baby. Mm. Very happy for you. From the way she's carrying, Mr. Walken says it looks like a boy. Oh fuck! Fuck! Does that mean this baby, this boy's gonna replace Ramsay when he's old enough now? That's How can you be sure? Yeah. Sure of what? That she's pregnant. <laughs> I mean. Bro, bro, that's fucked up. Manage what? Getting her pregnant. Bro, I nutted her. What you... How did you find it? Bro, you disgraced yourself at dinner. Bro, stop. Yes, he did. You're worried about your position. Yep. Until a better alternative comes along. Yeah, exactly. You're replaceable. She fought me the whole time. She was lucky I didn't hang her too. Bro. I nearly had a whip and the child. <laughs> But then I looked at you. <laughs> I saw then what I see now. All right, fuck you, Dad. Mm. He wants the Iron Throne, mm -hmm. and the road to King's Landing comes right through Winterfell. And they're gonna fuck you guys up. They're gonna fuck you guys up. But the North is ours. Yeah, he's gonna take it from you. Not for long. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. He has all the wildlings. He's getting all the wildlings. He's working on that. He's very. It's getting closer to that. Well, John's doing it for him, but... I'm sorry I don't know things. Oh. Gilly! It's okay, Gilly, me too. I am, your grace? Your father's Randall Tarr. Oh, shit. Defeated my brother at the Battle of Ashford. <laughs> Only Battle Robert ever lost. Damn. I told him he shouldn't go so far west so soon, but he never listened. Fine soldier, your father. You don't look like a soldier. <laughs> I'm told you killed a white walker. Kind of by luck, but yeah, yeah. still did it. Why would Obsidian kill a walker? I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
I've seen it, Your Grace. Seen what? The army of the dead. Yeah. When they come, we have to know how to fight them. Mm hmm. Keep reading, Samuel Tali. Okay. Yes, Daddy. Okay. I think he likes Sam. He specs his dad for sure. And he's like, alright, Sam will, he'll, he'll find out the answer. Okay. It's time. What? Huh? Hmm. Could have thousands more men. If Jon Snow returns with the wildlings, we can't wait that long. Oh, what the fuck? Shift in Bolton's favor. This could turn to winter at any moment. I guess. Now, give the order. We march at sunrise. Bro. I feel like him saying, I told Robert not to march west so soon. That could be foreshadowing this, and like, he's going too soon. I mean, shit, maybe Stannis, maybe this is the right time. I don't know. We'll see. There's a long march ahead. And then we have to take the castle. Why? What? You see that bitch's face walking up? When the battle comes, I promise you'll protect me. I promise. Aww. Protects her devils, yes. <laughs> Bro, don't look at him like that. Stop. <laughs> oh, Graham's not dead. But he's just severely injured. How do you tell this? Damn, three days. See the body's done. Ah! Uh, oh. She didn't go to. No, no, you didn't. No, you, you didn't fail him. No. One green quanta ni vali. Grey Whip, you tried. Grey Whip, you went off road. You did the most you could. All right, Grey Whip for revenge tour. <laughs> I am afraid. Oh. Damn. Not this. I fear. Failure. Miss Sunday from the island of Nath. Dude, Graham's such a sweetheart, bro. Aww. Kiss, 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 kiss. Yes! If I give everyone what they deserve, I'll have no one left to rule. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? <sighs> Experience when your own was lacking. Mm hmm. Because there was a better choice. Yep. One that only you could see. Exactly. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, I do not want to die at all. Yeah. It takes courage to admit fear and to admit a mistake. I came here to tell you that I was wrong. Oh, <laughs> yep. I will marry the leader of an ancient family. Oh. Thankfully, a suitor is already on his knee. <gasps> oh, shit. Uh... Okay, bet. That was kind of smooth. That, that was smooth. Damn. Love how she admits her mistake. Ah, bugging your interior. <laughs> and nothing broken, I don't think. Jorah doesn't give a fuck. Our time together, truly enjoyable, would be some wine. <laughs> <laughs> a person who drinks. Yep. Oh, what does he see? They're taking us through Valyria. Ooh. And then they weren't. I would clap. <laughs> this is what remains. It's kind of sad. That's pretty sad. Oh no. Oh, her dragon. Oh fuck, that's Tyrion's first time seeing a dragon. And Jorah's like, damn, this, this dragon's all the way out here. Oh, what the fuck is that? Jorah, Jorah, do something. Man. Stone man. Don't let them touch you. Why will I turn the stone if they touch me? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you had to. You had to do that. Oh fuck. Oh no! Oh, it, oh, oh it's just his boot. I, it didn't touch his bare skin. Oh, what the f Okay. Oh, okay. Jorah? What was that? Here he is. Oh. Jorah's wet. He got him. Jorah jumped in and got him. You're heavier than you look. <laughs> Can any of them touch you? My foot, my boot. I've seen Grey Scale before. Yeah. Nothing like that. Yeah, those guys had it. That's why they sent them there. Entire body. Oh, so that's what Stannis was talking about. Okay, so this is where when he was talking to his daughter, it's like, yeah, they told me to just send you here. Okay, okay, okay. I I remember that now. I've needed saving if you hadn't kidnapped me in the first place. <laughs> We've got a long walk ahead of us. Fuck. <gasps> no! No! Fuck. 
Not Jora, bro. Not Jora. Bro, how are they gonna do that to us? Not Jora, bro. Okay. Okay. Uh, I remember Stannis talking to his daughter about it, because I'm pretty sure that's the same thing his daughter has. Right? And, like, Stannis said he fucking went all over the world to find someone who could cure her. Like, he went to every single doctor he possibly could. And he, it took him forever to find one. And obviously, they're not going to be able to. Fuck us, dude. <sighs> okay. Alright, it seems like an infection type of thing where, like, it slowly starts to kill you. It's not going to, like... It's not like an... It's not like an instant death, obviously. And it takes a minute to get to you. So, okay, we got some time. But, like, dog, come on. <laughs> not Jora, bro. Not Jora. <laughs> that hurts, dude. Oh, my. Dude, first, Sebastian. Luckily, Grey Worm survived. But now, fucking Jora, bro. Ugh. <sighs> Fuck us. All right, well, that was season five, episode five. Well, we didn't get a death, but it's kind of close. Like, Jorah, he's probably... Ah. Fuck, dude. Jorah's probably gone pretty soon, which kind of sucks. Kind of, which... Okay, whatever. He's not dead yet. That's all that matters. He's not dead yet. He's not gone yet. Okay, so, in the beginning, Danny was fucking pissed. Was furious. That Severson died, which she should be. So she gathered up all the leaders and she brought them to the dragons. And the dragons got. Dragons are fucking huge, you know. And she fed them one of them, tore this man apart. It's fucking waxed. Right? Kind of shows an example of like, okay, it's gonna happen to you, you know, to the rest of them. Okay, John is gonna go with Tormin. Tor Tormin? I think his name's Tormin. He's gonna go with him. They get the wildlings, right? Now, okay. I thought he was bringing the wildlings over, not out of the kindness of his heart, to free to make make sure they're safe, just to help Stannis fight the, uh, uh just to help Stannis take over the north, because didn't Stannis make him that deal where he's like, yeah, if you help me out, I'll make you a Stark, you know? But Stannis is like, nah, it's, bro, that's taking too long. I'm dipping. But okay, so maybe, okay. Kind of seems like John's just doing it out of the kindness of his heart. I thought it was because he wanted to be a Stark. But then again, he doesn't want to give up on the Night's Watch. So, so okay. Okay, okay. And the Night's Watch was fucking pissed. All the guys were like, dog. Like, John. Like, that one guy, I think his name was Ed. He was like, dog, I fucking love you. I will follow you anywhere. But, dog, the Wildlings, they kill our boys, dude. You know? So, I get how it's 50-50. But, fuck, I don't know, man, I don't know. And then, dude, Ramsey's just the most toxic dude ever. Like, nah, Joff Joffrey was more toxic than Ramsey was, but it's just like, bro, what are you doing with Miranda? Like, Miranda, okay, maybe Ramsey sent, uh, okay, Ramsey probably sent Miranda to show Sansa, because he was, because, like, to show Theon to Sansa just to see if Theon would tell her. I mean, just to see if Theon would tell him about it. Because he's like, I don't like you keeping secrets from me. And it's like, well, dog, how did you know that? So he probably just sent Miranda to go and do that. So I thought Miranda was about to kill Sansa because she's just jealous right there. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And it's like, dude, you're just fucking like torturing Theon, bro. Like, stop. Ah. And like, dude. Okay, so Bolton's having another kid now, which is gonna replace Ramsey eventually when he's of age, right? Cause fuck Ramsey, he's a piece of shit. And I guess Bolton, I don't know, Bolton's probably just like dog, like, Ramsey's probably not the most ideal person to um, take over eventually. So he wants to replace his ass. Ramsey's not, so he just wants to replace him because he's a, he's a fucking maniac. And like, it seemed like Bolton kind of He's been he's been realizing it, but like what he did with Theon the Sansa at the dinner table, it just seems like Bolton had like secondhand embarrassment right there. He's like, alright dog. Okay. And then I love how Danny realized she was wrong. 
And she was like, takes courage to admit when you're afraid. And even when you made a mistake. Oh, love Danny for that. And now she's going to marry that guy. Okay, power move, power move. So yeah, that was Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 5. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.